Hello everyone, today we have the best goalkeeper build. This is the goalkeeper build that I used when I was playing goalkeeper. So let's get right into it. So for your position, of course, you're going to go with goalkeeper. Your height, we went with 6'7". Your weight, we went with 147 pounds. I think this is a good weight. You don't want to be playing too heavy as a goalkeeper or too light. I think this is a good median. And then for your preferred foot, that is all up to you. So this is how you want your weight and your height to look like. Now, for your three perks, the first one we went with is goal keep one on one. This is going to boost the ability to save 1v1 situations. And this actually was very noticeable since I really don't play goalkeeper, but when I did, I noticed that my goalkeeper was making a lot of 1v1 scenario saves, which just definitely helped me out a lot. The second perk we went with is the goalkeeper reach. This is going to help your pro to save distant shots which that's what you want you don't want to be getting beat from far out as a goalkeeper so we went with this one and then for our third one we went with quick reflex it does what it says it's going to boost your reflexes and your reaction when you're going for the safe which that's what you want as a goalkeeper so these are the three perks that we went with go keep one-on-one -on -one, go keep far reach and quick reflex for the save assistance we were using manual I think manual is much better than the other ones because you have way more input on where you want to dive. So I went with manual for the save assistance because I know I'm going to get asked that. Now we have the skill tree everyone again. This is the build that I used when I was playing goalkeeper. I'll leave a link below so you guys can watch the gameplay. So let's get it going. So first we're going to upgrade the reactions on this side. Make sure you press it twice to get the other reactions. Where it says two out of two. For this side, we're gonna upgrade the reactions again. You're gonna get the acrobat archetype. We can get the jumping, jumping again, and then you're gonna get the reactions. Guys, here the most important thing is a reaction. Of course, as a goalkeeper, you wanna have your reactions maxed out. You want your pro to be able to react in quick scenarios and when he's going for saves. And the jumping. I wanted to boost the jumping in case you do come out of corner kicks. You want your pro to jump high enough so 79 jumping was a max you were allowed to max it out at so this is more than enough for your physical then for dribbling we went with ball control and then we went with balance again not much to say about the dribbling but the most important thing i would say is the balance that's why i kind of focus just on the balance because you do want your goalkeeper when he or she is catching the ball not to be falling too much so that's why we boosted the balance. It'll help it out a little bit. You know, balance at 54 is still low, but it is what it is. It's not too bad at the end of the day. And then for passing, we went with vision. Vision again. For this right side, we maxed it all out completely. Completely maxed out. You're going to get the architect archetype. So all these are in the, in the 50s. But the main reason we upgraded the passing, because I think as a goalkeeper, you do want to be able to pass it out from the back. Whether it's a short pass or a long kick, boost up those vision to help it out a little bit better. And it's just going to pinpoint the ball a bit more better than if you didn't have these passing stats for your goalkeeper. Then for shooting, we upgraded the weak foot. So you are going to have a five-star weak foot as a goalkeeper. And I think it's super, super important as a goalkeeper to be able to pass with both of your foot because you never know you might get pressed on one side and you might be limited to just one foot so go with a five star weak foot so you can be able to pass with both of your foot or just kick it with both of your foot now you're going to skip pace and then for goalkeeping we are maxing it out of course that is the number one priority of this bill you want it completely maxed out this is going to give you 91 diving 96 handling 95 kicking you also have some of those passing boosted, which is going to really come in play. 98 reflexes and 97 goal key positioning. So this is how you want your skill tree to look like. We backed out. You are going to be a 95 rated goalkeeper. And the only thing to talk about is, yeah, you're going to be a 95 rated goalkeeper. But other than that, everyone, let me know what you guys think about this build. This works well for old gen and new gen, and this is the build that I used when I was playing goalkeeper. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.